overreaction Tuesday. Play along in the comments below. Let me know if, if you think it's an overreaction, like, whoa, that's not going to happen. Or if it's an unreaction, like, you know what? They might be on to something here. So let's dive deep into it. And the first overreaction, underreaction that we're going to talk about is the Chicago Bears. As you guys know, the Chicago Bears have been very active this offseason, adding players such as Keenan Allen, DeAndre Swift. They re-signed quarterback Jalen Johnson. And, of course, they do have the first overall pick and the ninth overall pick in the 2024 NFL Draft. So, guys, would it be an overreaction or an underreaction if the Bears traded the number one overall pick to get another first-round pick, giving them three first-round picks in the 2024 NFL Draft? So when we think about this of a team trading from the number one overall pick down to 15, 16, 17, and a team trying to jump up in there to get a quarterback, to get a receiver, it's going to swap picks and probably warrant a first-round pick for, 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 for that to happen. So teams like the Raiders, Broncos, Vikings, and Falcons all seem like they want to move up. However that really doesn't warrant a first overall or a second first round pick, right? So meaning they swap picks and then they get the first round pick for the 2025 season as well. And I really don't see anybody from the bottom half of the first of the first round making that huge jump up to the first overall pick or even to the top four to get a quarter quarterback. The only team that could possibly I could see doing that is the Rams right now. But I think the Rams are pretty solid where they're at. Guys, there's there's going to be a lot of quarterbacks taken in this year's draft. There's going to be probably potentially six quarterbacks drafted in the first round this season. In the 2024 NFL draft, there could be potentially be six quarterbacks drafted in the first round. So a team like the Vikings and Rams and let's say the Buccaneers, possibly the Giants, they can stay put right where they're at and a quarterback's going to fall in their lap. Quarterbacks such as Bo Nix, Spencer Rattler, uh, Penix Jr., right? Uh, Jordan Travis in the fourth round. There, there are going to be quarterbacks falling too, so there's no need to move out or move up into that first overall pick. So I think it is a overreaction that, that anybody would want to trade with the Bears to move up into the first overall pick. Because let's just be honest. The Bears have not done very good in, in the drafts in, year, in years past. Let them sit at number one overall. Let them fumble that pick, and then let's figure it out. <laughs> so, so guys, let me know. Is it an overreaction or an underreaction that the Bears could potentially be trading out of the number one pick? James Frank is in the chat. What's up, James? He says, A.J. Dillon got some angry runs in him. He, he does. He does. Taysom Bajan looked decent. Maybe. Listen, I liked me some Taysom Bajan last season, and I thought Taysom Bajan was a better fit for the Chicago Bears last season than, than Justin Fields. He was playing a lot more loosey-goosey. He was having a hell of a lot more fun. And I think people forget that Taysom Bajan is on the team still. Uh, so, Timothy, you are somewhat right. Taysom Bajan looked good, and the Chicago Bears could be looked to moving out of the first round pick and or the first overall pick. I like it. I like it. John says, yeah, and Brandon Combs excited that he's, yeah, and Brandon Combs excited that he's what he's saying from last night. What was Combs he saying la last night? I did not watch the show. Last night I was watching some uh, Iowa versus LSU on the old basketball game. Uh, but Combs is, uh, thanks to Chicago Bears, going to the Super Bowl too. But it is what it is. James says, no matter no matter what the Bears do, It'll be pointless until they get rid of that garbage-ass head coach. That is correct. We have spoke on this many, many times, James. Matt Everflew should have been fired midseason last year. The man had 14 losses in a row and 10-game home losing streak. That is tough. That is tough. Now you can say, oh, we don't have – we didn't bring in our guys yet, whatever. At some point, you got to do the X's and O's and play with what you got. John says, if the Raiders did, it would be for Caleb Williams, not for Jaden Daniels. So John thinks the Raiders could potentially move up from their 13th overall pick up to the number one overall pick to draft them some Jaden Daniels. Listen, I don't think the um, 
I, I don't think Caleb Williams is not going to go number one overall. Wh- whoever is at that number one overall pick, Jaden Daniels is going – or sorry, uh, Caleb Williams is going to be the guy. Whether it's the Bears, whether it's the Commanders, whether it's the Vikings, whether it's the Giants, whoever's at that number one overall pick, Caleb Williams is going number one overall. Now, if I am the Las Vegas Raiders, I like where I'm at. I like where I'm at. Sitting at number 12, you have a potential to either get a really, really good receiver to add to Von- to Devontae Adams, or you have a potential to get a falling quarterback, such as J.J. McCarthy, such as a uh, Drake May. If I am the Las Vegas Raiders, I do not move in this draft whatsoever. Now, I put up a nice big smoke screen. I put up a smoke screen saying I want um, uh, the receiver from LSU, right? Uh, is it Roman a, a, a Oz, Oz something? I can't remember. The receiver from LSU. You you put up a huge smoke screen saying I want this guy. I want this guy. I want this guy. Make teams like the Broncos start to panic. Make teams like the uh, Vikings start to panic, right? Make teams like the Cowboys start to panic. Make them want to jump up there and draft that guy. Puts the quarterback down a little bit more, a little bit more. Put up a big smoke screen. The Raiders are in an excellent position to make some noise in this year's draft. J.J. McCarthy could be a game-changing quarterback if he goes through the right system. Bo Nix, whatever, right? Ant says, I say both because they desperately need a quarterback, but they also need O-line as well as other positions. 